In this problem, we're told a runner taking part in the 200 meter dash must run around the end of a track that has a circular arc with a radius curvature of 30 meters. If he completes the 200 meter dash in 23.2 seconds and runs at a constant speed throughout the race, what is the magnitude of his centripetal acceleration as he runs the curved portion of the track? So what we have here is this person, they're going to be running around this track, right, which is going to be 200 meters. So they're going to travel 200 meters. So keep in mind their distance they're running is 200 meters. And we know they're going to do it in a time of 23.2 seconds. So let's just say t equals 23.2 seconds. And then we know they're going to run around the circular part with a radius of 30 meters. And so what we're trying to find is the centripetal acceleration as he runs around this part. So we call that a sub c or the centripetal acceleration. I'm going to say equals question mark because that's what we're solving for. So in order to solve this problem, there's a formula we're going to use, which is basically a sub c is equal to the velocity squared over r. So notice we're given the radius that he's going to be running around this part, which is r. So we have that. But what we need is the velocity or his linear velocity when he runs uh, around this, right? And we know that he's going to be running at a constant speed throughout the entire time, which means his velocity here is the same here. So how do we find the velocity? So we can solve for the velocity. We know velocity equals distance over time. And we know the distance he's going to run is 200 meters in 23.2 seconds. And it's just going to be constant. So the velocity here is the same here. So what we can do is just plug in the velocity. So the distance he's going to run is 200 meters over 23.2 seconds. So go ahead and plug this in. 200 divided by 23.2. When you go ahead and do that, you're going to get 8.62. Uh, and then it's going to be in meters per second. So meters per second, that's going to be the velocity. And so now what we can do is just plug it in. So the centripetal acceleration is 8.62 squared divided by the radius of the curvature. In this case, it's 30 meters. So 8.62 squared divided by 30. So when you go ahead and do this, you're going to get it equals 2.4768. I'm just going to round to 2.48, so about 2.48. And then we measure it in meters per second squared. So the centripetal acceleration is 2.4 meters per second squared. That's going to be your answer. And yeah, hopefully you found this useful.